Okay, well, we'll start sitting again. Um, this time we're gonna have one leg extended and one leg bent, a little leg stretch. And we'll kind of like lean into this leg that's extended. And we'll just do a little stretch here for a second. Did you say you did a walk yesterday? And then we'll switch legs. So as you switch, like lean back and pull that leg back towards you and then extend your other leg and lean towards that one. It's hard to keep all these days straight. I, I mean, like I knew it was Monday. I was coming down here and then like the radio said something like, oh, starting off our work week, like not traffic's not too bad or something. And I was like, oh, is it Monday? Yes, it's Monday, that's why you're doing this. And so we'll switch legs again. So as you switch, like lean back and kick this leg in towards you and extend your other leg. And then once you get out to a stretch, we're gonna switch again. So we're just gonna kind of switch back and forth. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you might need a little bit of space. And if you want to leave your hands um, back behind you to kind of push back and forth as you switch legs, that's fine too. Yeah, nice. And then we'll take both feet flat in front and we'll take and drop your knees off to one side and then we'll switch and go to the other side. And then maybe try some with your hands in the air, just letting your hips do the work. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you can still try. Yeah, nice job. <laughs> All right, and then we'll come on down, hands on the ground, knees on the ground, so it'll be hands and knees. And then from here, we're going to take and reach your right arm out and then you're going to bring your elbow all the way back to your left knee and then reach again and so reaching and then pulling to your opposite knee nice job we'll do like three more And then we'll switch to the other side. And so again, reaching and then elbow to opposite knee. All right, and then we'll go ahead and plate your hands back down. And we're gonna take um, and extend. We'll start with your right leg. You're gonna extend your right leg back. <laughs> extend your right leg back, so you're kicking your heel straight back. And then you're gonna bring your knee up through to that elbow, and then push it back. It doesn't need to come to the opposite elbow. Just have it between your elbows. So it's not crossing, it doesn't have to cross all the way in front of your body, but it comes up between your elbows. And then really kicking that heel straight back so you're squeezing your butt as your leg extends. And we'll do like two more on this side and then we'll switch.
Okay, we'll go to the other side. And so extending that heel back and then knee through your elbows. Heel back. Nice job. And trying to keep your back as flat as possible. Leslie is rod golfing today in the fog. Did I go away? Oh, I'm back. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, um, now we're going to combine. Can you see me? Okay. Uh, we're going to combine our arms and our legs. So you're going to reach with your right arm as your left leg extends. And then you're going to pull your knee to your elbow. And so now this is where your opposite knee will meet your opposite elbow. Kind of under your chest. I think I went away. Am I back? anymore. Can you see me? Uh oh. <laughs> I can't really, uh, I think my, hopefully my connection will just get better in a second. <laughs> can you hear me yet? Oh, you can still hear me. Okay. How's it going? with our opposite arm leg knee to, <laughs> did you do both sides? We'll try like 10-ish on each side. I think I'm gone again. Let's do, okay, we'll do two rounds of 10 per side. Um, I'm gonna just grab my charger. Maybe plugging in will make it better. Nice job. Make sure you're really extending with that reach. I can't hear you very good. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so annoying. You can hear me? <laughs> I, it's, it's so annoying I can't hear you very well either, so I'm just going to hope that you can keep hearing me. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so um, the next thing we're going to do is a little bit of a plank circuit. So we're going to start in a forward plank on your forearms. And then we're going to go into a side plank. And so you can set this knee down on your side plank if you want, or you can keep your feet up. <laughs> so
So when we're in a side plank, we did this before where we, when you're on your right side, your right knee was also down and then your left foot was down. And then you lift your hips up into the air from there. The, um, I'll send it again. I'll send you the link again. The channel, I just keep posting them on the channel rather than emailing you every time I put one in there. But I can send you an email with the link. So I still can't see you, <laughs> um, but we're gonna try to do 30 seconds of a forward plank, and then we're gonna go right onto your side into 30 seconds of a side plank. And then we'll rest for 30 seconds before we repeat it for the other side. Can you hear me? This is all going so poorly. Where's my internet? <laughs> okay, I'll try that. Okay, yeah, you switch you switch sides on your plank. Yeah, rest between, but then go to a front plank and then go to the other side. So it's like front plank, side plank, front plank, other side plank, front plank, side plank. And we're trying to do like 30 seconds-ish of each thing. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> okay, first of all, I can see you now, which I couldn't see you before, so this is good. And yeah, I can see that you're planking. That's also great. How many rounds have you done? Yep. Okay, perfect. Oh yeah, it's okay. Are you count how are you counting 30 seconds? Do you have a clock? Miss Okay, good. It's just a guess. That's great. Okay, great. And so now we're going to move after, so you did two rounds, so you got both sides two times. Okay, so um, we'll move on to the next part and you can rest while I show you. So we'll continue on our side plank journey. So we're going to have one elbow, Your let's say your right elbow's down, your right knee is down, and then we're going to take this left leg and you're going to lift this leg up into the air and then place it back down again. And so we'll do this 10 times, 10 leg lifts in the side plank. And so if, when you feel ready, you can go ahead and go for those.
Okay, and once you get to 10, stay in this side plank. Don't switch sides. Your leg can, your leg can be down. And then we're gonna take this off arm and you're gonna twist it through this little hole. And then you're gonna reach up to the sky. And so you're kind of diving in through here and then reaching up. And we'll do 10 of these. Yeah, or like a towel, or if you just need to reset, that's fine too. But so it'll be 10 leg lifts and then 10 thread the needle. And then you get to rest. Good job. And to keep your hips high, you should really feel like you're having to squeeze your butt. Yep, and then we'll do the other side. And so again, propped up on that forearm, on your left elbow, and then your left leg is down, knee is down. And then you'll take that right leg and do 10 raises. rest. Great job. We'll rest a little bit and then we'll do one more set. So we'll do two times through this as well. But still rest. Rest a little bit longer. Okay, this is better. I'm glad I reset my connection. <laughs> it was terrible. Yes, and I can see you. I can hear you and I can see you. I, every once in a while, I could just be like, I could barely make out that you were saying you could hear me. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna pretend like, yeah. Okay, ready to do another set? All right, so on that right side, right elbow, right knee, and then left leg lifts up. And if you need to use this offhand to balance, that's totally fine. And then 10, thread the needle. And then you'll switch to the other side once you're finished and take a little break between. And so on that side, left elbow down, left leg down, and then right leg raise 10 times. And then 10.
Okay. So then you can rest. Fill a little drink of water. <laughs> And <laughs> okay, yeah, just just a little break then. <laughs> uh, and so you're gonna need your band or your towel for the next part. And um, what we're gonna be doing is you're gonna be sitting with your legs out in front of you. Um, doesn't really matter exactly what they're doing for this part. Um, but they're just somehow out in front and we're going to get a grip on your band so that your arms are just about shoulder width apart and you can get a little bit of tension on the band. So you're kind of pulling it apart. There's no slack. Then you're going to pull it to your, you're going to hold it at your chest so your elbows are underneath the band and we're just going to press the band up overhead. And again, the whole time you're thinking about pulling the band apart. And as you bring the band down, keep your elbows under the band. Don't let your elbows track behind the band so that, you know, like if a bird was looking straight down on you, your elbows would be directly underneath the band. And we'll do 10 of these really slow and steady, pulling the band apart the whole time. Nice job. Nice work. And try to avoid leaning back. Keep your neck and your chin nice and relaxed. And after you've done 10, you can rest. Yeah, nice job. Okay, that was 10-ish. And um, so for the next part, you're gonna start with your grip a little bit closer together. And similarly, you wanna have a little bit of tension on the band, but there's almost slack in the band. And then we're gonna take and pull the band apart. So that's where you may have to play around with how much slack you have in the beginning so that you can pull the band apart, letting the band stretch and come towards your chest. And again, slow and steady, Whatever works best for you. So maybe you need to pull both sides in order to get the right amount of resistance. Um, but just so that you have tension kind of the whole way through. And so that you, it takes energy for you to slow the band down on the way back. You want to resist the band coming together fast and really have to use some energy to pull it apart. And so same thing, we'll do 10 of these. And trying to keep your shoulder blades down and back, keeping your chin, your neck nice and relaxed. No leaning back. And so same thing, 10 of these. Oh, nice, yeah. One arm at a time, that's cool. <laughs> And then you can rest a little bit and uh, we're gonna do three movements for this cycle and so the last one you're gonna take a wider grip there doesn't need to be as much tension on your band it can be a little bit loose and we're gonna try to bring it all the way around and then back through and so again now this is a time where there can be lots of tension it can be a little bit loose so that you have the freedom to move your arms all the way through and these ones can be a little bit faster they can still be controlled you don't want to let the band control you. <laughs> You're in charge of the band, but. <laughs> yes. You're the band leader. And same thing, we'll do 10-ish.
good job, good job. And then you can get short rest once you finish with the last set of those. And so our short rest. And then we're going to go back to the first one, which was that kind of slightly pulling apart, elbows under the band, shoulder width apart, pressing up overhead. And if you want to make it a little bit spicier this time, you could try picking your feet up off the ground and hovering your feet as you press up overhead. That's optional. And again, remember the focus here, pulling slightly apart on the band, keeping your elbows under the band, relaxed neck, jaw, shoulders, everything stay relaxed. Nice work. And so 10 of these, nice and slow and steady, pulling the band apart. Okay, that's great, yeah. Sweet. And the next one was the pull aparts, and we'll do the same thing. Try hovering your legs as you pull that band apart. And again, the, the pull aparts are when you really want to focus on going slow, especially on the way back. Resist that band coming back together. Pulling it apart and then nice and slow on the way back for 10 reps. And again, optional feet hovering, hovering one foot at a time, not hovering your feet. It's all good. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Yep. Absolutely, yep. Yeah, as you hover your feet, you may be leaning back a little bit more. Just again, as long as it's not coming from your neck and it's coming more from your middle. Trying to stay relaxed in your chin and your neck. And then the last one was the pass through up over and around. And again, you're in charge of the band, but these can move a little bit faster. Yeah, if you want. Optional hover. <laughs> really good. Nice job. And 10 of those. Nice job, good shoulder mobility. Okay, yeah, 10-ish. All right, and so we'll rest a little bit, quick rest. And then the last thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're not gonna march in place today. So sorry if you were looking forward to that part, <laughs> but we're gonna do other stuff instead. And so um, we're gonna do three different movements for the last part. And the first one is gonna be a sit up plus the press. So the band will kind of be hanging out at your chest and you'll do your sit up. And then you're gonna finish by pressing your band up overhead. And again, trying to pull it apart the same way we were doing for our press earlier. So sit up plus press. And um, just go ahead and try a couple of those and see how they feel. Oh yeah. Yeah, you need your sit-up mat. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yep, and then when you come up, you're gonna do the press just like we did before. So that your elbows are under the band, you're pulling it apart slightly, and you're just gonna finish by pressing up overhead. And so it'll be like sit-up plus press. Yeah. Sorry, what was that? Oh yeah. Don't do any more, just a couple to try it out. <laughs> and then the next one we're gonna try out, you're gonna pull the band apart and your feet are gonna be out in front and we're just gonna twist and tap the band all the way through, like my left hand is going to my right hip, right hand, left hip, and you're just kind of pulling the band apart as you twist. And then same thing on this one, if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, you can hover your feet if you want. And you can play around with hovering your feet sometimes 
and maybe not hovering your feet other times. But really just trying to twist all the way through, continuing to pull that band apart. And then, so yeah, just practice those, just kind of getting the hang of the movements. And then the last one we're gonna do is in a plank. And the plank, you can hold this plank with your knees down or with your knees up, it's up to you. But you're gonna be in this plank position and you're gonna tap right, shoulder, right hand, left shoulder. And so again, if your knees are down, that's fine. Or knees can be up, tap, tap. Yep, yeah, just like that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, perfect. And uh, so the, and the goal with the taps is to, you know, just keep moving as best you can. And then also like try to prevent yourself from rocking back and forth too much. Really try to stay stable. And so what we're going to do is we're going to just rotate through each of those movements for 30 seconds. And so we're going to go 30 seconds of the sit up plus press, 30 seconds of the twist, 30 seconds of the shoulder taps, and then we'll rest for 30 seconds. Okay. Yep. And so we'll start with the sit ups and are you ready? Okay, so sit up plus press. Three, two, one, go. And so yeah, we'll sit up and then press. Yeah, perfect. And again, we're trying to pull that band slightly apart, keeping your elbows underneath the band. Yep, that looks great. 10 more seconds. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go straight into the twists. In three, two, one. So pulling the band slightly apart, right hand, left hip, and then switch to the other side. And again, if you want, you can hover your feet. And we're just gonna try to keep going for 15 more seconds. Yes, nice job, nice job. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and then we'll roll on over into those shoulder taps. Yes, nice job. So strong. 15 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. And so now you get 30 seconds to rest and we'll start over again. Yeah, well, it's, it's probably going to move, but you're just, the goal is to try to not move it. And so just engaging those muscles in order to try to not move back and forth is gonna be getting you the results you want. So it's okay if it's not the perfect stable back, but as long as you're trying, it's good. All right, ready, set, go. Oops, sit up, press. Pulling that band apart. Keeping your elbows under the band. Nice job, nice job. We're gonna go into the twist in three, two, one, go. Twist, twist, nice work. Really nice. Three, two, one, and then you can roll on over into the shoulder taps. And yeah, just trying to stay stable. I know I'm always saying don't rock back and forth, but I know I'm doing it a little bit. But again, just as long as you're trying not to. Yes, good job. Squeezing everything tight, staying nice and flat. Five, four, three, two, one, rest.
rest. 30 seconds to rest. How's it going? <laughs> Hip flexors, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Seems like the same move, but slightly different. <laughs> Three, two, one, sit up, press, sit up, press. <laughs> Pulling that band apart. Really good, nice job. Nice job, nice job. In three, two, one, twist. Ten more seconds. Yeah, keep pulling the band apart. Three, two, one, rolling into shoulder taps. Nice job, nice job. And again, if you need to drop your knees for some of these, it's totally fine. Great work. Three, two, one. Rest. Nice work. Fifteen seconds. And then we'll be back to our sit up press. Three, two, one, go. Are, like as an anchor? Are you like anchoring your feet? Okay, that's good. In five seconds, twist, three, two, one, go. Ten more seconds. Nice job, nice job. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, we're halfway done. We're doing four more. Whoa, you can do it. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Sit up. Press. Pulling the band apart. Really nice, good work. Three, two, 
one twist. And it's okay to just keep moving slow and steady. Take a little short break if you need to and then keep moving. 10 more seconds. and then we'll come into our shoulder taps. Ready, set, shoulder taps. And it's the same thing, if you need to set your knees down and take a quick break, that's fine. Then get back to them. Nice job, getting lots of good work out of our shoulders. <laughs> Putting all that weight on your shoulders, good job. One arm at a time, it looks good. So strong. Three, two, one. Rest. So nice. Good job. she gets to spend time with him. Also, if we need to change the time of our class, we can do that. In order to get our friends like Katie to be here. Three, two, one, twist. Nice job. It sounds like you're marching in place. You're hand, hand, hand marching. Ready, rest. Time to rest. Two more. Okay. 10 seconds. Nice work, nice work. Yeah, good job. Still moving great. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, twist. really good. <laughs> 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Roll on over for the shoulder taps. Or hand march. Are your arms getting tired? Okay, good. Otherwise, we'll have to do more sets. <laughs> and rest. Yeah, you know.
know better than to say it's easy. But just one more set coming up. <laughs> like, yeah, I have homework, I promise. <laughs> All right, ready, set, go. Sit up, plus press. I can't remember if I mentioned to y'all I was uh, training uh, someone out. I would meet them out at the park, and they brought their daughter. And the whole time, she's uh, maybe like a kindergarten age. The whole time. This is so easy. Oh my god, that's so easy. <laughs> it, was, it was great. And ready, set, twist. Done with the sit up press. Just twist, twist, twist. Yes, nice job. Last round. Get all the twists in that you want for the rest of the day. <laughs> the rest of the week. Ten seconds. Good work. Three, two, one. Shoulder taps. So nice. Last 20 seconds. Ten more seconds for all the hand marching. Three, two, one. Rest. Rest. Nice long rest. Real rest. <laughs> 